Hello everybody, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School and today we're going to look at a small little video quickie on how to add a mood to uh, photos that represent love and romance. Uh, it could be family bonding uh, and just to give it that nice soft fuzzy feeling to it. And We're going to be doing that by using a filter that's already in the Photoshop called Gaussian Blur. Now here's a photo of a, uh, a family, uh, uh, a father and his son. And I thought it would be pretty appropriate for, for this type of photo because of the emotions that are in this image to add a little, uh, uh, little Gaussian blur to this image and add an extra bit of uh, mood and fuzziness to it. So first thing we need to do is duplicate our layer. And let me bring the layers palette up here so you guys can see. And you do that by hitting Control J, Command J on the Mac, and we've duplicated our layer. Now that this is very important because we're going to be reducing the opacity of this layer and we'll be also working on the bottom layer um, a little bit as well. Now we're going to go into our filters, which is up here, Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Now if you look at this image as is, you're going to say, well, Yannick, we can't really do much with that. It's blurred. We don't, even, we don't see any details whatsoever. And you're absolutely right. And you might be tempted just to reduce the radius and say, oh, there you go. I can start seeing some details, but it, it actually looks out of focus more than anything else. And uh, again, you, you would be absolutely right. And that's what we're going to do is actually bring our uh, radius up to around 20 pixels or so. And we're going to click OK. Now the whole trick here to creating the mood is to reduce the opacity of the top layer. And we do that by going up here, making sure our top layer is selected, going into opacity, and then reducing it to, let's start off with 40%, see what it looks like. Let's look at it before and after. It's looking pretty good. Nice, soft, but we still see the details underneath. Now if I zoom in at 100%, we see before and after. Um, it, it has a really nice feeling to it. You still see all the details in the skin. So we might leave it as is and say, great, we've got our Gaussian blur. We got the move we wanted to create. Let's save this image. But some of you might actually want to bring out a little bit more detail in the features uh, on the images, but by still retaining the same amount of blur. And all you need to do is select your bottom layer, go into Filter, and this time we're going to go into Sharpen. And you can either use Smart Sharpen or Unsharp Mask. I prefer Smart Sharpen. Now, of course, you're going to see the results here in the preview pane uh, of that layer only. You're not actually seeing the two layers, so you're not actually seeing it through the Gaussian Blur. So what you need to do is move that out of the way a little bit and see the effects before and after by unclicking the Preview button to see if your radius and the amount is to your liking. And I like it at around this, radius of one amount close to 100%. If I look before and after, it adds just a little oomph in the sharpness but still re retaining that nice, soft Gaussian blur um, on the top layer. Clicked OK on that. Let, let it work a little bit. Now let's look at a before. Whoops. Uh, before, you see how uh, the bottom layer here is over sharpened. But when we add the top layer of the Gaussian blur, it actually uh, looks quite normal in terms of sharpening. It looks pretty sharp, but at the same time, nice and and uh, smooth uh, and moody. Now let's look at the full uh, picture. And uh, if we look at the original image and to what we brought it at, it's looking pretty good. And there you have it, a little video quickie on how to create mood in pictures that represent love and romance. This is Yannick Schoemann signing out for Yannick's Photo School, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.